Hey guys! Oh my gosh, we've been having a heat wave in Netherlands. It is insane! 27 degrees, that's like full on summer weather. Given that spring is almost over, unofficially as well as officially, <laughs> I thought today would be a nice day to share my spring favorites with you. So I have a bunch of beauty favorites this season. Um, so let me just jump right into it. I want to start out with nail polishes. There are two nail polishes that I've been loving for the past few years in spring because they are just perfect spring nail polishes. This is Wet n Wild. I need a refresh mint. I've been wearing it all the time. It's on my nails right now. Absolutely love that. And when I'm not wearing this, you can pretty much bet that I'll be wearing this. This is Catrice Meet Me at Coral Island. These are my absolute favorites for spring. And I'll probably be wearing these into summer as well, because they're just so beautiful! So the next product may come as a little bit of a surprise to you. Um, I definitely wasn't expecting it either. If you've been watching my vlogs, uh, you'll know I got the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara. Because people on YouTube had been raving about it and I wanted to try it out. And when I first tried this out, I was not a fan. At all. Um, it was too wet didn't do much to my lashes but I thought hey if I let it dry out a little bit maybe I will like it more because I tend to like well my lashes respond better to um, kind of more dry and clumpy mascaras I feel like wet mascaras don't really do anything for my lashes so I did let it dry out and now I love it I'm not going to replace my black drama for this uh, when I use it up I'm going back to my black drama because that's still my ultimate favorite but this does definitely deserve a place in my favorites video one thing that I don't like about it though, is still the brush. The brush is just so weird. It is way too big um, and it distributes a lot of product. After like two weeks or something of using it, I love it. I love it. It really does good things to my lashes now. Okay, so the next thing is something I rediscovered in my beauty stash. I hadn't used this for a little while and now I kind of rediscovered it and I have been loving it so much. It is my NYC color wheel. Uh, mosaic face powder in rose glow. This just looks so good on my skin. Um, it is a perfect mix of rosy and peachy and shimmery and matte and it's just my kind of like one step cheek product. Okay, so I have some lip products. Now this may come as a surprise as well. It definitely came as a surprise to me. Um, I have started to really love these Michael Todd lip protectors. I know in my Michael Todd um, review I said I didn't like these and I didn't and for some reason I find myself reaching for them again and again and again just whenever I need to run out the door and just want to apply something really quick I will grab one of these. I don't know why I just something draws me to them. I love the taste and uh, well the main problem I had with these was that they don't really apply that nicely but now that it's been really warm outside they kind of they became softer and they're a lot easier to apply and I love the color I'm wearing this one right now and I've been wearing this in a few other videos where I was like um, wearing a deep berry lip they have SPF which is great because like I said the weather has been amazing I've been outside a lot sun's been shining another lip product is also pretty unexpected, it is the Crazy Rumors Peppermint Lemongrass 100% Natural Lip Balm. This came in my um, Cozy Mug tea box and I, uh, I immediately fell in love with the smell, so that's one thing. But this lip balm is so pleasant. That's just the right word, it's so pleasant to use. I love applying this on my lips, it's soft, it's smooth, it goes on so smoothly. It makes your lips really soft and it smells amazing. I love the smell of lemongrass and the peppermint is just really fresh and... I don't know, I just keep using this. I don't think I've ever used a lip balm as consistently as I do with this on me, so I... That speaks for itself, right? Okay, so next I have a set of brushes. These are the Sigmax um, concealer brushes from Sigma. Oh my god. Sigmax brushes, they are um, synthetic fiber. Amazing quality. You can look it up, there's like ton of reviews on YouTube for, of those. Um, I don't know what it is about them. They are so dense and soft and perfect. Just yeah, the entire Sigmax collection. I have uh, a foundation brush. When you see me, like when I do makeup tutorials and I apply my foundation with a flat top brush, that's 
another Sigma X brush from Sigma. Um, that refers to like the fibers that are in them. And I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but these nothing blends concealer and foundation like a Sigma X brush. When you apply um, concealer with this, I mean, I always thought my concealer was blended well when I did it with my fingers, but with this, so it's like an airbrush finish. It's amazing. Okay, so I have one more like beauty favorite. I don't know, is it weird to include this in a favorites video? I have a favorite toothpaste. <laughs> I've been using this Prodent White Now Eye School Mint toothpaste. And now the reason this is in my favorites is I have been using whitening toothpaste since my teens, I think. I know I drink a lot of tea, but I drink green or herbal tea. I don't drink a lot of black tea, don't drink coffee ever. Uh, I don't smoke, obviously, so I don't see why my teeth would get so yellow, but I mean, I bet there's like tons of other reasons. But I've been using whitening toothpaste forever and none of them ever work until I use this one. This, there's just weird stuff in here. There's dark blue in the middle there. That's supposed to optically whiten your teeth. So it doesn't actually whiten your teeth, but it kind of, I don't know, I guess it puts a layer over them or something. And then it's also supposed to um, whiten like gradually for real. So <laughs> um, it actually works. I was not expecting, I was sure this was a gimmick product. I just bought it because it was on sale, I found it for really cheap um, and I thought, you know, why not? But it actually works, I was so surprised. I actually feel like my teeth are getting whiter and well definitely after, right after I use it because the optical whitening, it works. I don't know how, but it does. No favorites video of mine will be complete without a tea favorite, of course, so I have another surprising favorite. I, I've just been surprising myself. <laughs> all over this video. Anyway, it is Lipton Green Tea Sencha. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's the name. I threw the box out because I have way too, you know, you guys know I have way too much tea. I cannot keep the boxes. Um, this is what it looks like. It says just green tea, but it's a Sencha kind. Um, Robert's mom found an old box of tea in her pantry wasn't going to use it, so she passed it on to me. Um, it was expired, but you know, tea doesn't really go bad, so it was just you know, it loses some of its flavor. Um, so I drank it and it was so good. Like, I was so surprised. I never had Sencha tea before, but I loved it so much. So it, I just used it all up really quickly and then I bought a new box, like a fresh one. And I think they changed um, what's in there. It has a little bit of a citrusy um, flavor somewhere in there that just really complements the green tea nicely. And I never would have expected, because I used to like really complicated herbal teas and just fruit with like hundreds of fruits in there. But this is just green sencha with a little bit of orange. And I love it so much. Okay guys, so those were all my favorites for this spring. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye. Hey guys. So ever since I uploaded my last few videos where I've been wearing this hairstyle, I've gotten a ton of requests to do a video. So today I'm going to show